had uh, we had a really good leg uh, into uh, yeah, into the Annapolis, yeah, Baltimore, to finish second, and then in the the leg to uh, New York, everything was actually fine as well. There was a, was a lot of breeze, but it was yeah, the, the boat held okay. And then of course that leg was just crucial for the standings because we basically had to beat the boat that was leading to still have a, a chance of, of winning the race. So we just knew that leg is going to be really crucial for us. I was at that stage on deck together with, uh, with my watch and uh, it was beautiful sailing condition because we had, we had really like big swells. 25, 30 knots, and uh, we were actually jib reaching, so relatively easy, not that much power on the boat, and, uh, and all of a sudden just a, a big bang from downstairs. Yeah, but this was a, that was a serious bang. I came down and I straight away saw this. This is probably game over because uh, was straight away the water gushing inside and then and especially the area where it was from. The bearings where the, the keel is swinging from, uh, from left to right had broken away from the structure. So basically the keel was hanging loose in the boat. Now we can't win the leg anymore, that's the first thing. You can't win the leg, you can't win the race, but I very quickly I knew this is, this is going to be a major and we just have to see if we actually get this boat uh, back into the harbour. You try to keep going because it's still a yard race. You want to finish, of course, around the world race. Uh, but then you have, yeah, it's it's balancing off. Okay, what do if we keep going and we, we're not surviving, or the keel breaks away, the boat will just flip over and uh, it will turn upside down. What are the risks that we lose lives? And with the situation, with the weather, what was coming up, I think that risk was way too high. Uh, we called the, the Volvo organization, we called another competitor uh, to be standby on us and, and very quickly another competitor, ABN, came to, towards us and was basically sailing alongside of us. So there was a big storm coming up, 50-55 uh, knots of breeze, maybe even more with, uh, with, with huge waves. So I just said, okay, we're going to abandon ship. Uh, it's never, of course, an easy decision, but uh, like when I took the decision, I was, I was happy and I spoke with all the guys about it as well. I told them the, the cons and the, and the pros, and uh, yeah, everybody understood that was the only smart thing to do. That, of course, at that state was a that was a tough decision uh, during the race. That's always one of these things because. Yeah, what I said, the drive of, of winning and racing is there and as well the responsibilities to your sponsors as well. But I think uh, the most important thing of course is the safety is, uh, is crucial because that's, uh, that's the only thing actually what counts. Everybody has to come alive back and then for the rest, the race is just a race. Uh, you can do another race maybe four years later. So yeah, that's one of these things you very quickly forget and, uh, and that's... You have to leave the past behind you and then you have to go on and that's of course, uh, that's just one of these things and if you do another Volvo or not, that's always of course, uh, you have to make decisions on that and, and I've come back since then and because I just love the rest. Thank you.